Welcome to Five Round MMA. Now, this is a special edition podcast as we go over our fantasy March Madness celebration, pound for pound tournament, however you want to call it. But it's a tournament, fantasy wise. Uh, we came up with the, we have the other brackets online, but we have the, what we feel are the 32 best fighters in each weight class. So there's four fighters from each weight class, and we did it by, um, how do I say it? Consensus. Yeah, consensus vote, and that's how we advanced to the final. And then we'll go over the final. We'll go through every matchup, and uh, we can agree, disagree, because there's a lot of, kind of, lot of, lot of fighters that I work should. here, and I don't agree with this bracket. <laughs> I don't agree either. <laughs> but since we did a vote, we had to go with it. Yeah. We, there was no uh, is, agreeing. There was no talking. There was no, no democracy. Opinion. It was yeah. straight like blind. There was ballot. no discussion. Our staff just pretty much voted for who would win, and then that's how we made the bracket. <laughs> If you disagree already, just go to FiveRoundMMA.com, download the bracket, make your own, and, and we can you. compare and contrast. <laughs> so pretty much I'll start off with the number one seed versus the number 32 seed, and I'll, I'll introduce each uh, each fight, and then we'll go over the matchups and things like that. And what you guys disagree or why are uh, why are staff, staff voted certain knowledge. ways. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. So, so the first fight, let's go number one, Anderson Silva, number one seed. Versus Ian McCall, number 32 seed. And I, we did this way. You did the lighter weight division, the lower, right? Yeah. Which is I, kind, of, kind of disagree, but that's how we kind of just. Yeah, that's kind of how we did it. I mean, there's no real way to determine who's number 32. Yeah. There's a way to determine number one, which is that, uh, you know, that's yeah. where we have the pound for pound list to begin with. So number one, Anderson Silva on UFC and ours on pretty much Everybody everybody's loses. list, number one, Anderson Silva. So um, Against Uncle Creepy. So you got a 185er against a 125er, but I'm pretty sure it's pound for pound, so maybe we can come in. Yeah. I mean, it's not even a question. Well, that's really. the point of the tournament is yeah. pound for pound. Who literally can go to any weight class and win? If we were go go back to, like, the how UFC first started, yeah. there was no weight classes. Yeah. You know, is there somebody in today's time that can do this, fight heavyweights, fight lightweights, and, st- and win this tournament? I think there that's is. That's the point of this Fantasy tournament, <clears throat> but uh, the first one, uh, McCall against Anderson Silva. That's I think we all. Yeah, I think that's uh, that's kind of lopsided. Uh, I don't think Ian McCall has enough in the tool bag to compete with such a bigger guy. Yeah. Uh, so um, we all voted here, uh, Anderson Silva to win Silva. it, which I can disagree with because uh, I mean that one uh, weight and height have a lot to do with it. Yeah. I don't know. You sound kind of down, Albert. I mean, you, well, because I like Uncle Creepy. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I like, you don't want to see me beat up. You're talking about your, 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 like, one of your favorite fighters, Anderson <laughs> Silva. Here, I, I don't. I don't like to see the guys I like. You idolize Anderson Silva. Silva. You walk. You worship this guy. And you, Ian McCall. But come on, Ian McCall's tired. He's tired. I you should have seen him doing the Mighty Mouse fight. I follow, right? I follow him on Instagram, on Twitter, guys. He's a cool guy. He goes to sushi bars. I like the guy, just, but. <laughs> There's no way he's winning that fight. <laughs> okay, so let's move on on the bracket. Now we have number two versus number 31. Number John two? Bone Jones is number two versus number 31, John Dodson. Uh, this is another. Yeah, this was <laughs> like. Big, like well, well, I'm I'm one. I, we I don't think we give Dodson any chance here. <laughs> no. and I don't even think we even took a vote. Cause no, I think <laughs> I don't, uh, this one was like. Uh, yeah, so let's Jones. just put his name. So yeah. Jones advances. Okay, then. Uh, Oh, man. This uh, this is where all the <laughs> commotion is going to start. We have number three, Jose Aldo. Rightfully number three. Number three versus number, what is he, uh, number 30, Michael McDonald. And uh, here at Five Round MMA. I'm not even, even, even going to say this one. I'll so, uh, say it, and then I'll justify <laughs> it. Justify it all you want. You can to tell who it came from. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. It <laughs> was the charge here. It, it was a voting. There's no discussion, all right? Uh, it was whispering in Ollie Trolley's ear. <laughs> Ollie Trolley was not getting any type of notes or memos from me. Anyways, we got Michael McDonald winning over Jose Aldo. Now, let me explain it before people think, like, whoa, 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 like, okay, whoa. Yeah. Well, yes, I'm already saying, whoa, 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 whoa. Jose Aldo, Michael McDonald I Jose Aldo. has knockout power. In this fight, they will go back and forth. You'll see all the probably dominating the fight. Michael McDonald catches him in the second round. Game over. Michael McDonald wins. Just wow. like that. One punch, that's it? One Thank punch. you. How can you even close that distance between them? The leg kicks from Jose Aldo won't do anything? No, you just take a beating then. Like. <laughs> He'll take a beating. <laughs> He'll take a beating. Uh, Jose Aldo can uh, make him tap out just like Ken and Brown. Nah, man. Nah, not Michael McDonald. That kid has heart. <laughs> he tapped out. So is, 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 it, is Michael McDonald our Florida Gulf Coast this year? The I guess. Cinderella story, I guess. To, yeah. According to Albert, he's our go- uh, Florida go- Gulf Coast. Yeah, so there's a, there's one in every uh, NCAA March Madness, I guess. There goes Gonzaga. Yeah. There- <laughs> 
<laughs> there, there we go. Yeah, exactly what happened. There we go. Okay, so um, the next fight is uh, number four, GSP versus number 29, Joseph Benavides. And now, that was a now good matchup, I, but I can't even talk about it. It's this. one-sided. Yeah. Uh, it, it was one sided. Uh, apparently, I was the only vote that voted for Benavides. <laughs> but let, look, look, listen, listen. If GSP can manhandle people his weight class, now imagine someone. But let me, let me tell you, forty why. pounds lighter. Yeah. Look, Joseph Benavides is a wrestler, right? Okay. Doesn't matter your size. You know the techniques. He knows the techniques to stay standing up. Okay. What does GSP have standing Superman up? Superman punch. He only has a <laughs> Superman punch <laughs> and, and, and a jab. Joseph Benavides is so small and fast. To, he cuts right inside. Does, does damage what? there? No, I, I never thought damage. about what it. Damage? What's he, GSP and, guessing and out? he can even probably take down GSP. I can, so, think, I can see I GSP know, guessing out, but yeah, I, don't, GSP's I, 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 dis, I disagree. So basically, uh, Benavides' uh, biggest uh, asset is being a blockhead, basically, right? <laughs> <laughs> being able to take a punch, it's a punch, it's a punch. And, and, and he's it's never a taken a punch for someone that. bigger than him. Yeah. So now he would take it. And I mean a uh, blockhead in the most sincere way. Hey, come on, Nick Diaz said he hits like a girl. Also, now you're Nick Diaz. No, no, no. Well, you're pointing. Where's Nick Diaz on the pound for pound list now? Where's he at? He doesn't even belong in our list. But anyway, he didn't make it. Nick or Nick yeah, did not don't make listen. It. Yeah, and um, according to Albert, Nick, and he's, uh, he's a, did uh, Albert's that. a little upset that Nick and Nate didn't make it. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> so, uh, we have JSP over Benavides. Yeah. So, uh, the next one, let me look in here. It's, uh, where is he? Belfort versus Hendricks, no? Well, let's do, um. Let's cross him out. Yeah. Let's do back up to uh, Anderson Silva who's part number, of the bracket. Who's ranked number five? Well, ranked number five is uh, Cain Velasquez. He's over here. So do you guys want to do it by you ranking? Side or you want to do it by ranking? Or we do it by bracket because we, now, we, now we covered the top four. So let's say these are the number one seeds, like just like an NCAA. Gonzaga's out. <laughs> <We're> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jose Aldo. So let's go back to the, the first part of the bracket, which okay. is Anderson Silva. That's how we'll s- separate. We okay. have the Anderson Silva bracket, the John Bone Jones bracket, the Jose Aldo, the GSP. Okay. The, the number one seed. So now we'll move on to the number two seeds in that weight class, which would be Mighty Mouse versus Ricardo Lamas, which is something realistically would a fight that would happen. Mm, yeah. So, and I, I would actually want to see that fight. Yeah. And uh, consensus here, I don't know why. You don't know why. Be, uh, Ricardo Lamas is over Mighty Mouse. I don't see that happening. I can't. I can't disagree with that. That's, <laughs> that's a good call. That's that's what we call intelligent matchmaking, right there. <laughs> Joe Silva. Is yeah, yeah, Joe Silva is going to be like, oh man, these guys are geniuses. They're doing like <laughs> fantasy, but they're giving me some matches. <laughs> a one four. I mean, Mighty Mouse fought at one thirty five. Lamas fights at one forty five. They give me in the middle. I think still it'd be. It'll still be a good fight. Though. Yeah. So we have Ricardo Lama. So let, let's move on to the John Bone Jones bracket. And we have uh, our number two seed, Hennon Burrell versus Frankie Edgar. And uh, this one could happen as well, too. Actually. Yeah, this one can happen. Uh, I can see Hennon Burrell moving up or Frankie Edgar moving down. Yep. So, I mean, this is. But good. either way, moving up or down, uh, Hennon Burrell wins. Yeah. yeah. We got Hennon Burrell. Frankie uh, Edgar can yeah. move up all the way down to flyweight, don't matter. He can fly to Ryan yeah. if he wants. <laughs> So, but yeah, Hunter Brown wins that. So now let's move on to the Jose Aldo upset um, bracket. We have Cain Velasquez versus Uriah Faber in the first round. Wow. That's, right. That's not even a match. Okay. I think someone just died in the ring. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Uriah Faber's big chin. In the He's, th- this is more uh, – Faber's more uh, a victim of weight difference. Yeah, yes, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. It's, it's not that Faber is it, not bad. Yeah. It's something on the California like you, kid's yeah. talent. You put like Faber's skill more, and mindset yeah. and heart and into a different body, then who knows what. Yeah, uh, yeah. but Cain's is too big, too yeah. strong. There's and he's no a way. killer. Yeah. And man, bear, pig. <laughs> Where's Brock Lesnar? Uh, Anderson Silva, you're, uh, not Anderson Silva, Bigfoot, Bigfoot Silva, Silva, you're next. Uh, <laughs> again. Well, well, again. You're next again. <laughs> you're going to get extinct now. <laughs> you're ready for the second. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let's move on to the Joseph Benavides bracket. We have Benton Smooth Henderson versus uh, Dominic Cruz, even though Alex really got mad because he's uh, not he's not active right now. He shouldn't <laughs> yeah. even been here. But still, if he was active, Dominic Cruz would be on this tournament. Oh, yeah. And that's yeah. why he was placed in this tournament. <laughs> that's it's, the only reason. It's, it's fantasy. fantasy. <laughs> like, it's fantasy. But yeah, yeah how, how is Dominic Cruz like, but we forgot, forgot to lift the Bigfoot out the tournament. I, I forgot. Didn't you like his hair? You, you. Were... Yeah, he has great. <laughs> his hair is great. I mean, like, he, after he fights, his hair is, like, so perfectly in place. It's, it's crazy. But honestly, uh, he's not going to win this fight. Yeah. It was, <laughs> I think it was consensus. We have Ben Smooth Henderson yeah. moving on. So that one's a... Actually, I have Benson Harrison like going all the way to the finals in this. I, I have my bracket anyway. Oh, yeah, uh, too but bad uh, consensus. We'll here. see how that goes out. 
Uh, let me see. Uh, we'll move on to the Anderson Silva bracket. Now we have uh, the number three seed, Machida, the Elto the Dragon Machida, versus <laughs> Gilbert Melendez. I don't know why everybody said Machida. I went Gilbert Melendez, but <laughs> uh, maybe they can reason. elaborate. Uh, no, there's not much to elaborate. It's called, <laughs> it's called you get kicked in the face and get knocked out. So um, we have Machida advancing on that one. Uh, I guess uh, there's nothing to explain. <laughs> it explains itself, right? Yeah, yeah. self-explanatory. I don't know. So now um, let's move on to the John Bone Jones bracket. We have Frank. Are we giving away anything by saying by calling the John Bone Jones and <laughs> the silver bracket? <laughs> no, we're, actually, we're not giving nothing away because they're the number one seeds. But uh, I'm pretty sure there's upsets coming up. Upset alert! <laughs> upset alert! Right? Yeah, ESPN upset alert. Uh, we have Frank Mir versus Showtime Anthony Pettis. Uh, <laughs> let me just introduce this one. This is not a shocker. It might be a shocker to everybody else. I don't know. Maybe. Because they don't see our point of view. But, I mean, like, we all had Showtime Anthony Pettis defeating Frank Mir. Yeah. Can you guys elaborate on that? Well, I think uh, Frank Mir can't take a punch. So that's, where, <laughs> that's there to elaborate. Well, I mean, it's not JDS punch, you know. Yeah. It's Showtime. Frank Mir has never been the, the quickest heavyweight. Yeah. And his – a strength is on the ground, but I'm pretty sure if he gets if he gets his hands around Anthony Pettis, he's going down. But I think Anthony Pettis is like going in and out, yeah. moving puck, kicks, kicks, Frank kicks. Frank will be able to keep up with yeah. his pace. So the first heavyweight goes down, yeah. and it's uh, Anthony Pettis advancing. It's more diverse stand up as opposed yeah. to stronger ground game. And uh, I'm pretty sure people disagree on this, but uh, you know they can send us an email us five round it five round MMA Please. at gmail.com. We embrace the bait here. <laughs> so then uh, let's move on to the Jose Gonzaga upset bracket part. <laughs> uh, we have JDS versus Albert's boy, Chad Money Mendes. Ooh, yeah. well, too bad Chad Money Mendes doesn't win. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the thing is, uh, if Chad Money could probably get the takedown, but then do no. one. <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. If Cain Velasquez struggled in the – I mean, I love no. – Cain Velasquez is by far my favorite fighter. I'm pretty sure Mendes has a, a little bit in the flags, beginning. Yeah. A couple medals that say he could take down JDS. Oh, wow. The, the only JDS problem is has a, I don't know about – brick hand that says he punches him I said out. take down and say he was going to punch <laughs> so him. So, Money Mendes, I'm, who fights at 145, has a, a shot to take down uh, J, uh, JDS who comes in at 260 all the time. Yes, There's sir. no way. Wow. I, I could go Team Alpha Male and make that bet. I bet you it'll, This it'll fight happen. ends in 30 seconds with one punch from JDS to <laughs> Joseph Benavides. Well, uh, Chad Money Mendes. <laughs> the point is JDS wins. But not before getting one takedown, right? Yeah, before <laughs> Mendes gets that one takedown, gets quickly right back up and... <laughs> Uh, get to that. It's like, well, like you remember like uh, those wrestling like when Andre the Giant or, or the Big Show would like have somebody put on them, just like push them up like that. You don't see that happening to Chad Money Mendez? No, not man, not at all. He has, a strong, like, one, he has a strong base. One, two, and also just kick him up. They go fight in the air. I, say, I, I see that happening in this fight. Nah, man. <laughs> he has a strong base. That doesn't happen. Okay, let's move on to the GSP bracket side of it. We have um, Daniel Cormier versus Gray Maynard. This is a uh, we feel. Really one sided, just yeah. Because well, of the well Maynard's difference. great strength this is wrestling, but so that Daniel doesn't Cormier's do it. Yeah, strength. Daniel mm-hmm. Cormier is bigger and probably a better wrestler. Yeah, just, uh, go probably go down the ground and pound, yeah. and we get those elbows plaque for plaque. Yeah, uh, so that one's a pretty easy one. Uh, then we move on back to the Anderson Silva bracket. This is uh, there's four seeds in each uh, part of the bracket, so now we have uh, the number four, Shao Sunin versus uh, Hector Lumbar. Oh, this is a one that actually can happen. I think yes, almost. I think happen. will happen in the future. Mm-hmm. I think, um, well, especially Chelsea and calling uh, Hector Lombard. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, just like the Okami fight, if Hector Lombard can be a great. I mean, we saw in the third round he can get aggressive and keep someone standing up. Yeah. If it's it's pretty much that. But if Chelsea is able to take Hector Lombard down, then it's going to be a long day. Yeah. But what what the, what the consensus say? I'm yeah, still we had Chelsea and advancing just because yeah. of what Okami has already. Yeah, plaques on the wall says he can take him down. Yeah, and he has a better chin than Okami too. So that's true. He could he could survive the onslaught by getting in. Still a matchup I would like to see. Oh yeah, that. I think I think oh, it will yeah. happen. I think it will happen. So then uh, we'll move on to the John Bone Jones side of the bracket. We have Vitor Belfort versus Johnny Hendricks. So. Um, Consensus had Johnny Hendricks defeating Vitor Belfort. Yeah, with his big old hand. By knockout? Yeah, yeah. of course. There's no other way. <laughs> yeah. I, um, not his wrestling? Nah, no, it's a knockout. Vitor is not as quick as he used to be. Yeah. He doesn't move it's not the as much fe- anymore. It's the, not the phenom we know. He yeah. probably would get caught. And I think uh, as, as soon as Hendricks closes the distance, he's going down. So, so um, 
You have uh, plus Johnny you the black zillions too. I'm pretty sure they can. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's already a handicap right there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so let's move down to the Jose upset. I think this is the upset um, part of the bracket because we have Gustafsson versus Damian Maya. Yep. And uh, consensus had Damian Maya. I don't know why Gustafsson. I think would destroy Damian. Well, Maia. no, because Gustav has long limbs. Damian Maia is a jiu jitsu expert. He would, he, I bet Martin you the up. fight will start, and he would just like <laughs> grab a leg expert. and. <laughs> It's over. You ever see like a tree wrap, uh, snake wrap around a tree? Yeah, just like that. Just like that. <laughs> uh, that's a good point, but I still see Gustafsson defeating Maya. But consensus has Damian Maya advancing over Gustafsson. And then um, the last first round matchup in the, the GSP side of the bracket, we have Dan uh, H. Bomb Henderson versus Rory McDonald. Oh, well, I totally yeah, disagree. Yeah, it was just me yeah. and <laughs> me, just the Cedar Brothers on this one. We have Rory McDonald actually going we, far in this tournament. We, we Cedar Brothers actually can predict the future. <laughs> And we'll see if if if, uh, if, if Papi Agbu I win <laughs> well, well, on the field card. Then we'll see. Don't, how bring, don't bring Papi into it because Papi's gonna win it. <laughs> but uh, Roy McDonald technically should win this whole tournament. I so, agree. Try start. Try look, start modeling agency you, is really you good. Because t- again, uh, we, we even though we may look educated, not all of our staff is. So <laughs> um, <laughs> they they can't see they can't really see the potential Roy McDonald has. I mean, the kid is so young. So, is, it, is this so a potential big. bracket or actual bracket? What is Man, this? this should be an actual bracket because <laughs> Roy McDonald can easily go up to two hundred five uh, in the future. Mm, well, I, after he takes I, Anderson Silva's belt, everyone's going to be calling his name out. So, no, I don't see him go. going up to two hundred five ever. Yeah, he, yeah, he has potential, but this is a guy who's he get hurt so often that like he fights. Whoa, to get whoa, to be, whoa, I mean, whoa. He, he's like he he's always just being like, cautious right he, now. He's in a he's in a slump. I'm I'm not gonna get you know. He, he hasn't been like on, a, on like on a consistent fighting thing. When, in how long? But when but when he fights, I know he's young and all, but still, but when I mean, he yeah. fights, he shows that he has everything in the BJ toolbox. Penn? His stand up, yeah, but BJ his takedowns, like his jiu jitsu. <laughs> Look at his strength. He has yeah. his core strength. I'm not even talking about his muscles. I ain't talking about. Strength. I ain't talking about check. I, <laughs> his core what, strength. I ain't talking about check Congo here. <laughs> check Congo has all muscle, no core strength. <laughs> yeah. Juan McDonald has core Wait, strength. Son, he's a CrossFit now too. Yeah, he's done. You doing laundry but, on his abs or what? I'm gonna look. You, you could, dude. You could on Juan McDonald. I just think a uh, uh, lot of potential. Yeah, but I think. Uh, but he needs to prove himself. We're, we're talking about Roy McDonald, but Roy McDonald loses. Yeah. According Anyways, to yeah, yeah. We have Den. Uh, H bomb Henderson Hendo. advancing, so we have Hendo. So that um, that's the complete uh, first round of the brackets. Are we in the, uh, was it Sweet Sixteen now? Elite Eight? What is this? The well, that was the thirty-two. So now we move on to the Sweet Sixteen. So the pound we'll, for pound, for the pound for pound. Um, now we have Anderson and Silva in a rematch, part three against Chael Sonnen. And we already saw that how that so played we out. Saw so. It twice, we saw so. it twice. Yeah, there's nothing to explain. We have uh, Anderson Silva advancing on that one, and let's move on to the John Bone Jones side of the bracket. We have John Bone Jones versus Johnny Hendricks. Should be an exciting fight, but we see it one sided. With yeah. uh, Johnny Hendricks, right? No, we have John Bone Jones. <laughs> John Bone Jones. We got John Bone Jones. <laughs> we got both have Johnny Hendricks. No. Oh, okay, I, 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 I figured. I, 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 no, I really did. Have <laughs> So we have John Bone Jones. Do you guys want to elaborate? Or, you know? The length, man. Yeah. Length and if he, I mean, he has a tr- uh, uh, trouble as it is cutting down the distance in the welterweight. Yeah. Imagine I'll John Bone Jones. Out. Yeah. You're not even coming there. near me with that right hand. So. Yeah. Okay. So now we move down to the Jose Aldo, which he's not even in the tournament anymore. <laughs> we have Wichita State versus Florida Gulf Gulf Coast. Um, <laughs> Damian Maya versus Michael McDonald. Um, I think this is where Michael McDonald's run comes to an end. <laughs> yeah, this is where the he one shouldn't part. even had a run to begin with. <laughs> well, he's, he's acceptable to the submission, and you got one by one of the best submission guys. I said that against Jose Aldo. Jose Aldo. <laughs> Jose Aldo. <laughs> Aldo. No, you just no. missed it. Jose Aldo isn't a top jiu-jitsu guy. Oh, yeah. Damien Maya is. I'm pretty That's sure he's black belt, is he? Is there a Brazilian black belt? I, I think, I yeah, I think you were born Brazilian and they hand you your black belt instead of a birth certificate. <laughs> I, think, I think it's like you, you learn your ABCs in Brazil and then yeah, you then, get a black belt. Yeah, so yeah, you're probably. telling me Jose Aldo doesn't it doesn't have enough jiu-jitsu to – I'm saying – Hen- I, I agree with you. Don't look, no, no. <laughs> look at this. I, I'm saying Hen- – I, I can't look at him. You're, you're like right across from me. <laughs> I'm saying Hennon Burrell has better jiu-jitsu than Jose Aldo. You, oh, Damian wow. Maia has better jiu-jitsu than Jose Aldo. I'll give you and that that's one. why yeah. – Michael McDonald gets past Aldo, but not past Maya or Hannon Burrell. Oh, uh, we well, got, even though in the rematch, I still got Michael McDonald. <laughs> well, we got <laughs> Damian Maya advancing on that one. Uh, okay, so now we move on to the GSP side of the bracket. We have GSP versus Hendo in a potential matchup. 
and uh, Dan Henderson. Who well consensus has Hendo advancing. Um, so what, we'll, we'll, we'll see what's GSP strong points. His wrestling. And his wrestling, right? And his and, wrestling. Yeah. And we, his takedowns and his wrestling. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Superman punch. Don't forget the Superman <laughs> punch. <laughs> no, that's his strong points. His strong, his strong, oh, strong yeah. points. He, just because he does a Superman punch, it's his... It's his, it's his uh, okay, his jab. Yeah. <laughs> Again, because he throws, it doesn't mean it's his strong points. So basically... It, it's, it's his it's, wrestling. It's, yeah. Ask Josh Koscheck about that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. Um, Hendo's an Olympic wrestler. Yeah. How, how does he take down Hendo? That counts I don't see him out. taking him now, Hendo. Hendo's so, too big. And so you can counts. land jabs all you want I on see Hendo. the H-bomb coming down just like uh, eats, Matt the Terra Sarah. He eats, <laughs> <laughs> he eats jabs for dinner, so. Yeah. And he, he, I'm pretty sure he could take a couple jabs. Oh, that granite chin. Oh, there's no way GSP's knocking nah, him out. So yeah. we see Dan Henderson knocking him out. Yeah, yeah I don't care. What's the same as GSP throw a hook? Well, that's true. I don't know. That's true. He only believes a one hook or uppercut or anything like that. Yeah. So, yeah, I think we all had Hendo. Yeah. We have Hendo. Uh, so now we move on to the Anderson Silva side of the bracket. We have Lioto, the Dragon, Machida versus Ricardo Lamas. Uh, and I think Machida wins <laughs> just purely on size. No, come on. Now, let's keep it real. On size. Yeah. On I really think Machida got an easy part of the bracket. I mean, he got Melendez and now Ricardo Lamas. So That's kind of true, yeah. Hey. He's advancing, but yeah, sometimes he I, wouldn't, perfect, I right? would have had him first round. Happens uh, all the time. Lost, yeah. <laughs> the perfect storm. Yeah. Duke. How many times in the NBA you see people kind of just, you know, lag it so they can get the, a mm-hmm. better seed? That's true. Yeah. But um, now we move on to the uh, – we have Machida, just if anybody was wondering. If we weren't, if we weren't clear on that. <laughs> so now we'll move on to the John Bone Jones side of the bracket. We have Anthony Showtime Paris uh, upsetting Frank Mirawal. We don't think it's an upset, but we have Pettis versus Hennen Burrow, what a matchup! Ooh, yeah. Potential would, would, future yep. matchup too, because uh, they can move. See. So um, consensus had Anthony Pettis over yeah. Hennen Burrow. Uh, Hennen Burrow showed a lot of weakness in his stand up when he, when he did fight Michael McDonald. He likes, <laughs> he did, he did. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, and Anthony Pettis, Michael McDonald's out of the tournament. Right? Yeah, yeah <laughs> but I'm just saying Anthony Pettis is a better striker than Michael McDonald, and that's why. Yeah, uh, Anthony Pettis wins. It's just you know more crisper, clear. Yeah, that's how it goes. So now we move down to the upset city um, part of the bracket. We have JDS versus Cain Velasquez in a part three. And we're already seen this fight, so we've seen it twice. Uh, we know Cain Velasquez. One for one. Yeah, I agree. Cain. <laughs> uh, I think we all had Cain on this one. So uh, yeah, I think um, he did too much damage the second fight around to make me see anything different. That what JDS happened. can do anything if they're both if they're both healthy. healthy. Yeah, it's not even a close. We saw it's not even a close contest. I think it's uh, the same thing from the second fight. He's gonna try to take him down, wear him out, and then yeah, if they're both punching yeah. bag after that. <laughs> That's what it was. Yeah. So now uh, we move on to uh, the GSP side of the bracket, but GSP's out. Um, we have Daniel Cormier versus Benton Smooth Henders- Henderson. Or and this Bendo. is where we stop referring to the GSP bracket. It's now the Bendo bracket. The Bendo bracket. Bendo, I, Bendo has to win this fight, right? Does he win? Did he win? Um. We have Bendo beating Daniel Cormier. Yeah. I mean, people say that he's susceptible to takedowns, and obviously that's Cormier special, but I think he can wiggle his way out. Even maybe even avoid a couple takedowns. Yeah. He's faster. Uh, and he has a toothpick. He can do the Razor Ramon thing, like, yep. right to his eye. <laughs> <laughs> I think, yeah, I think uh, Bendo's more diverse stand-up. It's not, it's not crazy to say Bendo will win. Yeah. Okay, so now we move back up to um, – it's going to break Albert's heart. Not really, but – um, he has his one and two favorite fighters, Anderson, the Spider Silver versus Lioto, the Dragon, Machida. And uh, just to tell you guys, uh, this, this actually gets answered every single training session because from what everybody's been saying in Black House is Machida has always gotten the better of Anderson Silva really? in sparring. So they they saw this, they always answer this question every single time they train. This is the thing I don't like about UFC is like uh, they're buddies, so they'll never fight, but – well, they're in two, two different weight classes. But still, I'm pretty sure that they can meet Easily, in the middle. Yeah. They can, no, well, Machida can go no, down. Machida, Machida can easily go to 25, and, and Anderson Silva, no, we know we can go to. I would five. love to. I would pay. I would go to the event. I would pay top dollars to see this fight. But, but yeah, I mean, that's they're also, buddies. Yeah, it's also a testament, too, to like how good they are because if they're constantly fighting each other. Oh, yeah. 
I mean, there's no wonder, like... Well, they're just getting better. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. When you're up against the bench for, uh, at practice? I mean, yeah. come on now. It's pretty much like Goku always training with Piccolo, dog. <laughs> <laughs> they always up their game. Vegeta, dude. Vegeta. <laughs> uh, Vegeta, yeah. That's even a better one. What is it? Dragon Vegeta. Ball Z yeah. podcast? I'm just saying. All I'm saying... <laughs> so we covered wrestling. <laughs> we covered uh, Dragon Ball Z so far. Anything else? And they, and, 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 they, and they all relate and, to and, each and, other. Any more references? No, we're, we're all related. We still make some martial arts. Dragon it's Ball all Z relative. Dragon Ball Z was the Yeah, Dragon Ball Z is MMA. Just without the superpowers, but okay. Next week. I don't know. About that. Stick around so. next week. We'll have our Dragon Ball Z bracket, guys. So uh, we'll uh, obviously, you guys didn't see Machida's knockout against Rashad Evans. That was all using Chi. So uh, there you go. So, uh, is, is that like Gohan and uh, uh, Goku in the back trying to kill Cell and stuff like that? You can do it, son. Yeah, only Machida Quick question Who has more Dragon Balls, Machida or uh, Andrew Silva? Oh, dang. <laughs> That's a, that's a <laughs> well, you have Machida. I, I would say, well, yeah. Machida, Machida, Machida's very elusive. You'll get the ground ball. Only the Charlie Arcel engineer just is practically like peeing in his pants right now. That's like the, the ultimate stumble question. Who has more Dragon Ball? <laughs> Albert Space just turned pale white. Like, like, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> that is now that's a question. <laughs> Anyways, who do we got winning? All right, so, uh, who won we that we one? have Machida winning, okay. um, so he has the most Dragon Balls. <laughs> <laughs> so we have Machida over Anderson Silva. I'm pretty sure this is up for debate. You know, people are gonna disagree on this one, yeah. but uh, we have Machida. It was consensus. Go find the interviews. I think I, I think Anderson Silva said yeah, it said that, that he gets yeah, that Machida gets the better of him in training. Yeah, that okay, maybe. so now we move on to the John Bone Jones bracket. We have. Anthony Showtime Pettis versus John Bone Jones. Even though I love Anthony Pettis even winning this fight, but John Bone Jones is too big, too strong. Too long. Yeah, I would say, I won't say strong. I would say his reach is just too big. <laughs> yeah, I think John Bone Jones is strong. John Bone Jones wins. He'll, he'll check his kicks and even probably catch him. Yeah. yeah. Take him down, yeah. elbows. So we have John Bone Jones winning. Now uh, we, What's have, the, what, we have. Are we in the final four now? Oh, yeah. I forgot to mention. We are, right now, we're in the lead eight. So now. Um, the, the the next matchup for the Elite Eight, the Cain Velasquez bracket, because Jose Aldo's out. We have <laughs> Cain Velasquez and the Cinderella story, Damian Maya, Ooh. in the Elite Eight matchup. So, Sadly, I think this is where our Cinderella story ends. Wichita State, bye bye. <laughs> I can't see any way Damian Maya can get him down and do a submission. I can't. And obviously, his weakest point is the stand up. Yeah, I mean. Or, uh, what do you yeah, call I it? need to bring this up again. Um, didn't Nate Marquardt knock him out, too? <laughs> yeah, so that's yeah. what I'm going to say. And then Kane does good combos yeah. all the time. So so Sally ends there. So we have Kane advancing. Yep. Now it's time for the Bendo bracket because uh, GSP's out. <laughs> we have Bendo versus Hendo in an uh, Elite 8 matchup. And uh, Consensus has... Uh, Bendo again, t- just too quick. It's almost like the Machida uh, more fight. More athletic, yeah. yeah. It'll be just like the Machida Hendo fight. Hendo can't, won't be able to catch him. Yeah, I think. I think Pretty much. Henderson, Henderson uh, Bendo could come in, a uh, lot more combos, get back out again, kind of time himself real quickly. Where kind of you saw Dan Henderson just circling, circling, circling. You guys yeah. don't think the H bomb is going to catch him though? No, no, he's too, he's too fast, and like I say, he'll just have it cocked back there the whole time. He won't circle like Michael Bisping did to his left, run right into it. Yeah. Okay, so now this sets up the final four. Okay. We, we have uh, Machida and Bendo in one matchup, and we have John Bone Jones versus Cain Velasquez. Wow. So um, let's break down the first matchup. That's it, a pretty good uh, that's final nice four. I, I like think, it. Right? I like it. I like it, too. Yeah. I, mean, it, we can, I mean, obviously, we could argue how they got there, but, I mean, I, for I, the top I, fighters in the world. It, I, it's a potential. Yeah. I, I don't see nothing wrong with this. Uh, we have Machida versus Lioto, the dragon Machida, versus uh, Benson Smooth. Henderson, Bendo. That, man, that's such an awesome matchup. I wish it was real. And, but I think Machida will probably get the best one because you have two elusive fighters, but not as elusive as Machida. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you almost kind of see um, maybe uh, Bendo getting a little frustrated yeah. towards the end of the fight and starting going in, going in for take, takedowns or trying to just get in there. And then that's where you, Machida, Machida catches strike. him. No, I, I see Machida, like, rushing this guy. And just finishing him off yeah. right off yeah. the bat. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. I, I see Either way, that. What, what, what did we vote for? Uh, we all consensus, unfortunately, had Machida. I think, you, you know how you, you, you pointed to earlier how Machida kind of got the easiest side of the bracket? Yeah. But then he ran to Anderson Silva. So, and then he got well, past he, that. Yeah. yeah, he got easy up to Anderson Silva and then Bendo. So, I mean, he had, yeah. if this was a, you know, fantasy wise, he potentially had two good fights back to back. So we have Machida in one spot in our finals. Yeah, in the finals. Yep. 
And then the other side of the bracket, we have John Bone Jones versus Cain Velasquez, which potentially could happen. Yeah, yeah, but I see Cain Velasquez wrestling being too dominant and just uh, his his strength overall. I think he can really punk John Bone Jones in that octagon and la- land that heavy punch. And uh, John Bone Jones' chin has been questioned. How's it? He hasn't been knocked out though. Yeah, but How's he's been it? rocked. Machia landed two, everybody gets rocked. Ma- Ma- Machia, yeah. Machia landed two fingers on that fool. <laughs> yeah, but you have to wonder if this fight were to happen. Let's say John Jones walks with what two twenty, you think? Yeah, yeah. So like, would it be like a solid two twenty? Like, I mean, like, and I, I think he would put on muscle. And Kane comes in at what two forty all the time? Yeah, around yeah. there. So it's kind of, I mean, his wrestling might be better, but like, I don't. This is this is a crazy fight, man. I mean, like, you, you want to see Kane last ground and pound, but then it's hard to see him overpowering John Jones if John Bone Jones is at full strength. Yeah, but uh, Kane Velasquez. I think Kane Velasquez wrestling and. Yeah. He has more power than he does. Yeah, I think uh, Cain Velasquez wins by knockout. Really? I personally. I think. How do you see him closing the distance, though? Do you see him just charging in there? Well, no. look at JDS. You no. just gotta press him. You gotta yeah. press him until you get him to the cage, and then I see him knock the out. Reach, the reach ah. doesn't matter if you keep walking backwards. Yeah, just, yeah just I, I, I think Cain Velasquez yeah, will push him against the, the fence. That's a good point. Clinch him against the fence. Yeah, that's Dirty blocks him a little bit. I see Cain Velasquez winning. Dirty blocks and then uh, rounds over. Quick takedown. Yeah. No. So. um not only everybody talks about eating horse meat and stuff like that, Cain Velasquez extincts uh, extincts animals, man, bear, pigs, and he's like Sasquatch. And <laughs> so I mean, like uh, Cain Velasquez, we have contestants Cain Velasquez beating John Bone Jones. Um, so now that sets up the final: Lioto, the Dragon, Machida versus Cain Velasquez. <laughs> what a matchup that would be! Uh, I don't even know where to start. Let me start then. Okay. No, no. <laughs> You're gonna start, but it's so one-sided, it's so biased opinion. How is it biased? So I came <laughs> because <this> too. <laughs> you literally like would bend over backwards for Leo to the Dragon Machida, or bend that, forward out of respect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got me. But out of respect, out of respect. Well, anyways, uh, all right, Cain Velasquez, uh, his biggest strength, okay, wrestling and his boxing, right? Yeah, we've seen how Machida does against wrestlers. And boxers. Teased, uh, yeah, Anderson. but okay. not Cain Velasquez so wrestling. So I think Cain will have a hard time fighting him just like Dan Henderson did. And it'll go down just like the Dan Henderson fight. He'll, he'll, he'll score the points and wait until he gets frustrated and, and score more. Even though Cain Velasquez is more, um, he's more of a, a patient fighter, Yeah, I think it's the, the frustration will still get to him. No, there's no way. And then uh, uh, Cain Velasquez's cardio is way better than Hen- Hendo. You still have to catch the kid, though. Oh, uh, he can catch it. Trust me. He can but so, catch. okay, so he does catch John Jones. I mean, uh, Machida. 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 What's to say he does the same strategy to John Jones? Press against the fence. That's what I see happening. You keep you keep that dragon in a cage. But I don't think he can cage him up. You catch him? No, I really don't. Uh, this is, I see exactly what John Bone Jones did to Machida. No, because see, the, the only difference was John Bone Jones had that reach, and that's why he was able to cage him down. Up. Yeah, Cain Velasquez does not have this reach. He actually. Uh, has a short or short reach, and he has a lot of mass. A lot of mass. See, to- that's the thing about King. Like he, he's he fights a heavy, but he doesn't have a big frame. Hey, but yeah. Machina has a questionable chin too. So yeah, but yeah, landing first. <laughs> yeah. First of all, I wouldn't say chin. I would say the back of the head. Yeah, you sock anybody in the back of the head, they'll they'll get dizzy. Yeah. I don't know. Shogun got him in the chin. Which means, I, I, think, think, I, think, I think. <laughs> What's, I think what just make uh, is Kane such an interesting fighter because like he's a heavyweight but like, he doesn't have a big frame so he's quick enough to fight the heavyweight. I think also, so. Like it just makes him so dynamic. Like he's so fast and he's like he's but the power to back it up too. So he could actually go down and like fight lighter guys and still it's a fight. He doesn't lose anything. I think. Yeah, I agree. But um, I mean it's unfortunate consensus here had Machida winning this fight. Yeah. But I think Kane Velasquez takes the Dragon Balls away from Machida. <laughs> <laughs> well, too bad because this is democracy in five round MMA, and Machida's the champion, pound for pound, the best. And like I said, biased opinion because I have Cain Velasquez. I don't, I don't, I don't know if you be biased when uh, it was a vote, <laughs> <laughs> but there you go. And and like like yeah. I said, you were whispering in Ollie Charlie's ear, <laughs> trying to get his vote, uh, stuffing the ballot box. Yeah, seriously, and I staffed the vote. <laughs> um, obviously, I doubt a lot of people out there are probably gonna agree with us. Uh, if you don't, that's great, actually. Uh, do your own bracket. Yeah, email especially us. when Machida goes on his tear. <laughs> you guys change your mind. Email us. Leave comments. Stop tell us, lobbying. <laughs> tell us how dumb we are or how smart we are. Yeah. 
<laughs> well, thanks we everyone for uh, tuning in to this special podcast. Bracket special. Yeah, I'd like to thank everyone for watching it. Again, if you disagree, if you think this is horrible, please fill yours out. We'll be more than happy to review yours, even give a better take. And air it, too. I mean, yeah. we love to talk about this stuff. That's all we do is talk about this stuff. And the more people in the conversation, the better. So feel free. Yeah. I'd like to thank again our producer, Guillermo Sita, our sound engineer, Alge Trolley, our executive producer, Anthony Seriana, our technician, uh, Big Game. Thanks, everybody, for listening. Thank <laughs> you.